All right, what's up, everybody? Bobby Shortle here, the FMV agent, back once again with the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. We're going to be jumping in in just a moment, but first, I want to give us a word from our sponsor, FMV World. Um, FMVWorld.com, which they're an amazing resource for all things FMV. Descriptions of... They have a database full of FMV games, and you can pretty much search and find anything you're looking for there. They have descriptions. They've got screenshots. They've got trailers. They've got platform information. Sometimes they've got interviews and and stuff with um, people who made the games or people who appeared in the games. So definitely, if you like this stuff, and I'm assuming you do because you're here, you should definitely check it out because they're amazing. And I'm so proud to have them sponsoring the show. It's it's just great. All right, so definitely check out fmvworld.com. Um, big, big fans of theirs and, and so happy that they're sponsoring us. Um, but let's stop talking and let's dive into some gaming. Time for some infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Let's move over to the gameplay. All right. Here we go, laddies. We're going to jump in right now. This is my great accent work. We said last time we're going to back to Jaya, so let's go back to Jaya. And let's talk to her. Um, she seems to like everybody except for Nathan. She didn't like Nathan. She thought Claire was a little rude. So let's see what the deal is here. Um, okay. Talk about this guy, Tom, who died. He did die. A rock hit him. He was hit by a rock from further up the mountain. He never got to fly. Nathan thinks he knows what his problem is too, but if he's not careful, he'll get hit by that rock. I wish I'd said goodbye. She looks very wistful there. Goodbye. I liked Tom. I never got to say goodbye. I did for Dr. Decker though, so I suppose that's some closure. Mm, okay. Closure? Dr. Decker tried to fire me, what? not long before his murder, so we got to say what we wanted to say then, and I've got the termination letter somewhere. It's not going to stick, obviously, Professor Alderby and the Trust will overrule it, but it's nice to know what he felt about me. Huh, okay. Okay, clues. Termination letter. Oof! Got very bright. I have a very bright monitor and it got very bright on my face because it's all white okay all right let's scroll down here i don't know what dr dr Decker, i don't know what dr decker sounds like so here we go 13th of february dear jaya i regret to inform you that your services are no longer required please clear out your desk and leave by the end of the week d that's it that's the whole letter okay so she was gonna he was gonna fire jaya so that is a pretty good motive i would say um fire you i don't know anything about that okay uh. dr decker tried to fire me not long before his murder so we got to say what we wanted to say then and i've got the termination letter somewhere it's not going to stick obviously professor alderby and the trust will overrule it but it's nice to know what he felt about me Alderby was the guy who was like, you gotta open your mind, right? That was like the video. Alderby, yeah. Uh, Alderby. Professor Alderby is a trustee. Did I not mention that? No. You didn't. Um, oh, let me ask her about the thing. Um, didn't... What's the thing? Mind stretch outreach. Mind stretch out reach. I don't know about that. Okay, so he doesn't she doesn't know about it or she doesn't know about it yet. Talk to me about it. Um okay, Jaya. Hello. Hey you. Thanks for helping me with oh, the this grief. grief thing. Grief. Oh, I don't really know where to start. I feel a bit numb. Maybe we should just talk about him. Okay. What did you think of Decker? We kind of talked about that already. Did you date 
Decker. No, okay. What do you know about Decker's murder? I can't help you with that. Okay, so... God, I, 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 screwed up, I screwed this up big time. Okay, so hello is done. Okay, so that's done. Um, let's go, Jaya. This is they don't have any other follow ups. Healing can change your skin. That's messed up. Back to Jaya. Okay, here we go. It hadn't even been a year. So they worked together. Again. He was a quiet, solitary man. A good listener, as I suppose you'd need to be. His confidence did grow as time wore on, but that's what you'd expect after you fitted in. I mainly miss our chats. He used to work uh, late with me and tell me things about the patients, things that I probably shouldn't have heard, but did. What do you think of the patients? Nah, perhaps you shouldn't say. You can ask me. Go on, I'll tell you what I think. Okay, work late. We'd work late together on all sorts of things. He was preoccupied with finding patterns in patients, trying to find some kind of order. Okay. Patterns. Mainly he was searching for a common experience the patients might have had. That's what led them to his office. He'd study everything, even the referral letters. Okay. Uh, ref referral letters? Yes. Letters, parking tickets, holiday destinations. You know, I find those referral letters... He was sure there was a pattern in them. Okay. Hmm. Hint. What should we do about Ben? All right, this is the this is the guy. So, should I get a solicitor right. or shall we try and talk it out with him? Uh, talk it out with him. Good choice. I'll go and see Ben to see if I can get him to call off the dogs. I have no idea what's gotten into him. Perhaps it's his mum. Mum? It's very interesting that you ask me that. It's not something I can answer, though. Ben's mum? She was cuddling him like he was six. He's 25. Who had a session on Valentine's Day? On Valentine's Day, Dr. Decker had a session with Claire Castleford at 11 and that nurse, Elin, at 3. Everyone else cancelled. You should see this place Christmas Eve. I was at home though, so I don't actually know who came in. Dr. Decker did phone and ask me for Nathan's number, which is a bit strange. Okay. Oh. I think Dr. Decker set up Mind Stretch Outreach so that he could influence the minds of children at an early age, getting them to believe they could be anything they wanted to be. That's Since nice. Since death has been disbanded. No more minions of Dr. Decker. Minions, huh? Minions? Minyona? That's not what I wanted to know, but I'll ask it. It just felt like he was growing this child army of intelligentsia. Okay, Nathan. How do I ask Nathan if Decker called him? This is my question. Doctor, De did Doctor, did Decker call Nathan the day he was murdered? Did Decker call you the day he was murdered? Murdered. God, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, I don't know why. Okay. Claire, he saw definitely. I'm wondering if I should talk to Jasmine. Oh, she was in that trailer. 
the video. Lacey, I can't see your face. Lacey. Oh, also in the video. I know what you dreamed about last night, Doctor. In it. Okay. Um, Claire. Hello. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. Okay. Where were you on Valentine's Day? The day Dr. Becker was killed. Uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. Okay. Parents? Sorry. Okay. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. Parents... Death. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise, I would have died too. Friend... Oops. Do you think I killed my parents? No, I don't think you killed your parents. It's okay if you think I killed them. Okay. You wouldn't be the first to draw that conclusion. I mean, it's a pretty obvious conclusion. People can be so cynical. I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm being real cynical. <laughs> um, okay. The day Dr. Becker was killed, uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. The last time you saw him. Dr. Decker made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. I'll be taking it to the grave with me, though. As did he. What? Excuse me? Offer? Dr. Decker was more animated that day. Excited, even. He talked a lot. Excited? Oh. Instead of his usual sarcasm and rebuttals, he seemed genuinely excited. Presumably, he had a date. Huh. A date? I, I don't know. Huh, okay. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. Where she keeps the husband the that she stabbed. Anyway, but it's also where they died. Okay. Lake house. I stood for a while, looking across the water. It's peaceful there. It's the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. By the lake. Uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing. If you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Little girl? I don't have an answer for okay, you. Okay, no, I didn't mean to ask little girls, but... <laughs> I stood for a while, looking across the water. It's peaceful there. It's the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. By the lake. Uh, only about nine or That's ten. That's what I was trying to ask, okay. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Girl. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. I don't usually talk to children. But she seemed different. Special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I, Doctor? I mean, yes. Yes, you are... Allowed. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor. Wait, what? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. How was she special? I don't know. I suppose she just reminded me of me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was trying to catch some strange creature that she's seen in the water. 
definitely some sort of Cthulhu thing going on here. I don't know. Minnows, probably. Everything's strange when you're a child. Okay. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor. But I don't want you... It's weird that you want to go find a little girl and talk to her. I mean, if you see her, it's fine, but... I don't know why I talked to her. Mm. She looked sad. Sad. I don't... Let's find out more about her. David had been hunting again, and, well... She's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. David was hunting? I'm happy to discuss all of these things. David. David wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um, I forgot my key and the spare was missing. Mm -hmm. Hunting? Animal skins. Um, David hunts, uh, then skins. It's horrible, really. Um, he's not really good at either job, so the skins still have great lumps of bloody carcass hanging off them. I'm sure he'll get better with practice. I don't... I don't know. No. No, 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 no. I... Isn't David... How... But... Key? I'm sure I had a spare key for the lake house, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't really need one if David is around. Um... I'm... I stood for a while, looking across the water. It's peaceful there. It's the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. By the lake. Uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing. If you can call it that. With one of those nets on a stick. Feel the most... What? I see what you're trying to do, but I really don't know anything. Okay, I'm going to ask for a hint here. I don't want to answer her about the girl yet I'm asking something else. Mm. <sighs> okay, Claire. Yes, you can see the girl again. I put my caps. Yes, you can go find her. Then I will. I'll look for her next time I'm there. Okay. So she left the appointment and went to the lake house. She never went in. There was nobody there. She talked to a little girl who was fishing for a Cthulhu monster. She doesn't have a very good alibi. And she does a little, she has a stabby stabby the reputation so I'm very much wondering oh carbon monoxide that's really early I'm not sure it was a faulty boiler I think boiler sorry I don't okay all right let's go let's go from we got some information from her um, so she's never a good alibi so if we're running down the thing, um, Elin seems like she has an alibi that she was at the lake, that she was at the pier, um, which means Mariana wasn't lying that Elin was at the pier. Um, so that's, we know that now. We know Mariana, that means Mariana was also at the pier. She saw her at the pier. They were walking at the pier around that time. So she probably there around the same time. Um, but uh okay all right okay so we're uh, we're making our way downtown Brycey baby hello there's something i want to tell you about something else that's wrong with me bring it on i think i've been getting a bit out of control in my hour so if she's saying that they left the beach at 11 
and that it wasn't enough time for her to get back to Decker's office to kill him. That means that it had to be around 12. So that means that his minute hour might be perfect for that. I was wrong last time I was talking about this because I think I was wrong about the timing. Um, okay, so what's wrong? No. Okay, what did he say to me? There's something I want to tell you about. Okay. Something else that's wrong with me. I think I've been getting a bit... Out, out of control. Out of control? When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Go to a fairground. Ha! That was just an example, <laughs> Doctor. I'm sure you can come up with more exciting things to do than that. Like murder your therapist? Mm. Live alone. I live on my own. Occasionally I visit my father. He's in sheltered housing. Dementia. father okay um also there's something else of, out of that when i first got the hour I, I was shocked obviously it took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only i could move because i live on my own what would you do doctor if you had an hour where everyone was frozen go to a fairground um let's see extra hour okay oh okay i'd steal things with my extra hour yes i would steal too and i have stolen I ran out of milk, so I thought I'd go to the local all-night shop and get some more. I was absolutely intending to pay, but when I got there, everyone was frozen. I thought about leaving money on the counter, but that seemed weird. The cashier would wake and suddenly this money would have appeared from nowhere. But I've stolen bigger things. Okay, what have you stolen? I got, well, what? I got notes. I got notes! Bryce has asked what I would do if I had an extra. I mean, I mean, that's just those things he might have done to gain his trust. Or if he stole anything or spied on anyone or helped anyone. Okay. What have you stolen? Okay. Um. I would help someone. I, don't. I would help someone with my extra hour. Oh, what did I ask? I said... I'd spy on someone. Well, that makes me feel a little better. There's a young mother divorced. Uh -huh who lives opposite me, Jessica. She's friendly and says hello to me, smiles. I've always wondered what she looks like, naked. Oh boy. So one hour, I broke into her house. She was standing in her bedroom. I took it as a sign. I took off her clothes and... <laughs> what? And what? What happened after you took off her clothes? Not something. Yes, you do know about it. What am I supposed to say? Well, that makes mm. me feel a little better. There's a young mother, divorced, who lives opposite me. Jessica. Got a She's bad feeling. She says hello to me, smiles. Jessica. I've always wondered what she looks like. Naked. 
So one hour, I broke into her house. She was standing in her bedroom. I took it as a sign. I took off her clothes and... Jessica? I took photos of Jessica when she was naked. God. When I'd stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? Yeah. Yes, it's wrong. I know. It's that bloody Dr. Decker. He made me this way. It's all his fault. Why? Uh, Decker's fault? Like I said, I originally presented with depression. And everything was going well for a while. Then Dr. Decker changed. How did he change? He was easily distracted during sessions. Like, he wasn't listening. I'm pretty sure he wasn't listening half the time. I don't think he wanted to know about his patients anymore. But when he did give you advice... Advice. He told me to use my imagination to make something up, to think something crazy, and it would become real. He told me to think of a way to get more time. So I did. But he pushed me. He made me think it. Huh. Okay. Pushed you? I don't know. Okay. Um, I'd help someone. I don't have anything. Okay. I'd kill someone. I don't think you would, Doctor. I don't think I would either. Okay. That one didn't work. <laughs> um... Oh, if I can just ask him, have you helped anyone? I did think, what good could I do okay. other than catch up with work? I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched. So I gave her purse back. And the crook, I placed him on a bus a few blocks away. I have no idea where it was going. She'd never really be able to thank me, so... I took another picture. Mm. Can I see your pictures? I have no idea. Uh, pictures. Sorry, Doctor. I dozed off there. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, did I ask about other? Where were you? Where were you on? Valentine's Day. I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. Okay. You didn't give me exact time, though. Um, let's see. Hint. Do you know anything else about Decker? I dug the grave for Dr. Decker. Oh. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Why do you think that is? No, the coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. Okay, decoy? I'm guessing he was buried somewhere else, or cremated. Somebody somewhere didn't want his body going in the ground. 
Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? Cremated. That's a good choice, Doctor. Less work for me. Thanks, man. Um, it's gotta be time. I gotta have to it. Wait, what? 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 Why would he ask me that question? Can he see something behind me? Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. I'm not sure. She what? doesn't normally say anything. What? Where, I don't understand where that came from. Did I miss something? I don't want to move on. Why would I ask? Can he see something behind me? Um... Church. That wretched dig goes on 24 7. 25 7, if you ask me. Your patient, Nathan, caused quite a stir. He interrupted one of the female students all night, apparently. Made her miscategorize some findings going on about his dead girlfriend. It's amazing what you hear at the coffee machine. Well, I suppose that's a bonus. We're allowed to use their coffee machine while they're there. Nathan and Eileen's alibis check out. It sort of gives Bryce an alibi too if he's working, but he didn't say he was working. He said he was at an art gallery, so he wasn't working that night. He heard it another day, so he doesn't. He still doesn't have a a good alibi. Yeah. Okay, I could move on if I wanted to, but I want to talk to the other people. Um, why did he say there's somebody standing behind me? I don't understand. What have you done with the photos of Jessica? I can't delete them. I don't know why. I haven't shown them to anyone else. Do you want to see them, Doctor? I don't want to see the naked. To be clear, I do not want to see photos of a naked woman who has been taken against their will, but I do want to see if they're real. I want to see if it's, if or if it's like even more nefarious than just like this woman. Yes, I want to see them. If you want to see those photos, you're as sick as I am. Okay, fine. Well, don't, you're so mean. Well, I mean, I can't necessarily keep going on after I get that burn from me, so I'm going to wrap up this episode of uh, the Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. We are learning some things. So we know that Aline and Nathan's alibis are pretty airtight. Um, they seem to be real. Claire, not so much. Um, Mariana, probably, but... Again, she's more of a, I saw somebody there. So we know Aline's is real, but I'm not sure about Mariana's. But is, I, I would assume the game logic would say that they were. Um, she was actually there. Um, so Bryce and Nathan, Bryce and, sorry, Bryce and Claire are still up in the air. Jaya, she said she was home alone. There's no proof of that. And she was almost getting fired. So I don't know about Jaya yet. Um, but yeah, we're we're moving along. We're, we're we're making it happen. There seems to be a Cthulhu thing. There seems to be a thing about using your mind to sort of create these things. Bryce sort of let us on the Decker. Decker was sort of um, uh, what's it called? Pushing to uh, pushing them to think of these things. So maybe they all got sicker with Decker because of this, and he was tapping into some sort of like old god stuff. It seems like that's what that um trustee was saying to him, too. So I have a feeling that there, that's there's something there's something to that. Um, he also, there was somebody saying behind me a family member, and she doesn't usually talk. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what line of questioning that came out of. So maybe I missed something. And if you're watching, let me know in the comments what I missed because I don't know. Um, thank you very much to FMB um, World for sponsoring us. Thank you to everybody who's been watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the videos, and never fear because FMB agent.
is on the case. 